The late Chief Moshud Kashima Wolawali Abiola was born on the 24th of August, 1937, to the Yoruba Egba clan. MKU Abiola attended the Baptist Boys High School, Abeokuta, and was the editor of the school's magazine, The Trumpeter. At the age of 19, he joined the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons. Moshud Abiola started his professional life as a bank clerk with Barclays Bank in Ibadan in 1956. He later joined the Western Region Finance Corporation as an executive account officer. He proceeded to Glasgow's University, Scotland, where he received a first-class degree in accountancy and also gained a distinction from the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Scotland. On his return to Nigeria, Abiola worked as a senior accountant at the University of Lagos Teaching Hospital. He later joined the ITT Corporation, where he rose to the position of Vice President, Africa and Middle East of the entire corporation, which had its headquarters in the United States. Abiola was a philanthropist, businessman, publisher, politician and aristocrat. He set up Abiola Farms, Abiola Bookshops, Radio Communications Nigeria, Wanda Bakeries, Summit Oil International Limited, Africa Ocean Lines, Abiola Football Club, to mention a few. He received numerous honorary doctorates from universities all over the world. In 1987, he was bestowed with the golden key to the city of Washington, D.C. Between 1972 and 1998, Abiola was conferred with 197 traditional titles by 68 different communities in Nigeria. He financially assisted in the construction of 63 secondary schools, 121 mosques and churches, 41 libraries, 21 water projects in 24 states. M.K. Wabiola joined the ruling National Party of Nigeria, NPN, in 1980. At the June 12, 1993 presidential elections, he overwhelmingly defeated his rival, Bashir Tofa, of the National Republican Convention. The election, which was declared Nigeria's freest and fairest by national and international observers, was annulled by military president Ibrahim Babangida. Moshud Abiola died on the 7th of July 1998 in detention while trying to reclaim the mandates Nigerians freely gave him. Nigerians describe him as a legend. And he was able to awake our consciousness in many areas. However, I think the one that is most um, exciting or most instructive or most fundamental to many of us today will not be the Abela, the man of many parts. Rather, it will be the MK Abela, the man who represents um, um, democracy. We all looked up to him for his exploits you know, in business and what he has been able to do. And um, uh, when he ventured into politics, it was a different matter altogether. And um, we will always remember him for his business exploits and uh, what he sacrificed his life for, which is uh, for democracy in this country. I see him as somebody who loves Nigeria. I see him as somebody who is not interested in people's suffering. Somebody who wants the betterment, who wants better things for everybody. And I see him as somebody we need to, this country must immortalize. We have had the political elite manipulating our religious differences for their own selfish interests. Shows clearly that we have not learned this appropriate lessons from the Abiola Dibeku. And the earlier we did that, the better. Nigerians look forward to a time when the ideals of true democracy, which MKO Abiola fought for, will be enjoyed in the country. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.